This video is 5.5 integration by substitution. So in this section, we're going to go ahead and cover um, how to integrate things with substitution. Essentially, integration by substitution is the reverse or the inverse of finding the derivative using the chain rule. So back when we were doing the derivative using chain rule, we said that if you had a function, um, a composite function, where you had an outer function and an inner function, what you did was you took the derivative of the outer function and you left the inner function alone, which is this here. Then the chain rule applied where you had to take the derivative of what was inside, and that's this g prime of x here. So the theorem of anti-differentiation of composite functions says that if g is a function whose range is an interval i, and f is a function that is continuous on i, if g is differentiable on its domain, and capital F is an antiderivative of little f on i, then this integration holds, okay? And the way we do this problem is we substitute. We say let u equal the inner function g of x, and then if you differentiate this equation, the derivative of u is du, and the derivative of g of x is g prime of x dx, um, then therefore this integral can be turned into this integral where you just have uh, only one variable, one independent variable being u this time. So when you take the in antiderivative of this, you get capital F of u plus c. And then you just have to back sub and plug g of x back into there. Essentially, that's the idea here. Okay, so for the first few examples in the web assign, all they want you to do is identify u g of x. Um, that's the inside function. And then go ahead and find du, which would be g prime of x dx, okay? Um, which is just the derivative of the inside function. So if I look at this problem here, um, remember we always rewrite radicals. So this radical could essentially be rewritten as a power of one half. And if you do that in either um, notation, it's pretty easy to identify what is the inner function um, because this is inside of a radical and this is inside of the parentheses. So it's pretty easy for part A to identify what is the inside function. So the inside function u would be the 2x minus 3. Now if I take the derivative of this function, um, the derivative of u is du. Well, actually it's 1 du. Derivative of the variable is just 1, or its coefficient, which is 1. Um, but then um, it just du for the fact that I don't know what variable I'm differentiating with respect to, right? So you have du here. Then on the other side, we get 2x plus 3, well, derivative, 2x minus 3, sorry, derivative of 2x is 2, and the derivative of negative 3 is just 0, but again, because I'm differentiating with, an un, with respect to an unknown variable, I do have to tag along um, a dx, okay? Now, this is all they want for part the first part, okay? So on the second part, um, part part B we've got to do the same thing and again this one doesn't require me to rewrite anything but it's pretty obvious as to which is the inside function simply because this is inside parentheses so in this case the u would actually equal x squared plus 1 and if I wanted to find du which is the derivative of u I would take the derivative of this side which is 2x plus 0 so I don't necessarily need to write the plus 0 and then tag on the dx, okay? So there we've got the parts there. Now, in this second part of the problem, it says with a formal change of variables, basically substitute, you completely rewrite the integral in terms of u and du. So since I know what u is and I know what du is, I'm just gonna substitute. So if I look at this one here, the one that I had rewritten, what ends up happening is that inside the parentheses, the 2x minus 3 becomes a u. So that becomes u to the 1 half, right? This is u with a power of 1 half. Now the 2 and the dx, 
that becomes du. And so I have this expression here. Now, if I wanted to integrate that, I could, but that's not what they asked me to do in this particular problem. They just wanted me to change the variables, okay? But this would be a step, a second step that I would have to do to integrate this. If I wanted to integrate this, I would first have to identify my u and du, then I would have to substitute. Then I could integrate, which would be the third step, and then I could back substitute, which would be the last step, okay? Those will be in examples to come, but for right now, we're just taking half of the problem um, and we'll finish up the rest of the process later, just so that we get a hang of it. Now, for part B, again, I've done step one, identified U and DU. Step two is to completely change the variables over. So what was inside the parentheses is now going to become U. And since there's no exponent, no radical, nothing going on there, it's simply just U all by itself then notice that the 2x and the dx are now going to become du. So my integral is just going to be the integral of u du. And that's it. I could integrate that, but again, that's not what it's wanting me to do. It's just wanting me to rewrite, and that's it for now. Um, in the next few examples, we will complete the whole process. So stay tuned for the next video.